sentence. This is the president of Black Wall Street in Grand Rapids right here. I gotta bring up my guy Preston saying, can you come up to the stage, please? The people gotta know you all. Look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And look at this fit. I need y'all, do y'all see this coat? Applaud the coat. Applaud the hat. Applaud the coat. Come on, man. It's a blessing to everybody, man. I want to thank everybody for coming out, man. Some time out today. Uh, real quick, give a round of applause for yourself. Every race, 
you know, and it's everybody against against racism. I feel like that was Malcolm's message as well, and that's that's one thing we want to carry on today. In closing, we always want to be solution oriented, you know. So one of our things is um, racing against time against gentrification. With Black Wall Street, it's about acquiring and developing real estate in the neighborhoods, turning the hoods into black excellence from the rappers to all the cities across America. You know, um, one of my oldest brothers did 19 years in prison. This very block was where he hung out at. You know, he was a part of one of the areas of the wealthy boys. And I was telling my son, he, he knows this, we, we speak about this all the time. This is one of the first blocks that got gentrified. And it looks beautiful, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but we want what we call development without displacement to where people that come from these neighborhoods can share within the ownership and equity and build wealth in these areas yeah. and the homes. Hoods, as we say, you know, on the southeast side, 4957 Third Ward, one area on the first ward, we want to make sure that we plant our flags, which that's what we did in 2020 and beyond with Black Wall Street districts. We plant our flag there, claim our territory, and now we, we walk down our due diligence process of strategic alliance, capital raising, and uh, we begin to acquire property. And we begin to bring in people that can be a part of that journey, and we all share in making sure black and brown people have ownership in these areas that we come from. So that's what Black Wall Street and Rappers is about. Uh, last year, an NBA player by the name of Jalen Brown, he signed the largest NBA contract in history. And on his press conference, out of all the things that he could have spoke about, they asked him what he was gonna do with his new wealth. He said he wanted to build a Black Wall Street in Boston. So when we talk about um, Black Wall Street, USA Ambassadors, NCTV that I'm also a founder of and ties as well as a part of that national vision. Again, we want to take this vision to city to city across America. So instead of, you know, ghettos and neighborhoods, we can have black excellence and black ownerships and reincarnate where our ancestors did yeah. and we want to talk about Oklahoma. So thank you all. And this is kind of a personal question for me because no, I, no, I, I love what you do. Where can anybody like me or just anyone contact you? Like, where can we find you? Man, so we got multiple Black Washington Rappers platform on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can connect with me personally on Facebook or Instagram, press the same. LinkedIn, press the same. Uh, and uh, I'll be glad to chop in with you. You know, and, uh, it's all about uplifting our people, man. And, you know, sharing this great city and making sure black excellence is included in the fabric of the city. Sure. All right, one more question for you. What is one piece of advice that you will give to 16-year-old Preston? 16-year-old Preston? Yes. I would say um, diversify myself much earlier. You know, most young black guys we think our opportunity to success is either through music or sports, you know, and even though that is true, you know, there's there's more to be done, you know, that's why now we're big on financial literacy, we're big on, you know, investments and real estate and stocks, and we're big on pushing trade schools because all of these different things we can be, you know, but obviously, like we all say, you can't be what you can't see, we have to see these things, you know, so I would say that my 16 year old self to diversify myself earlier, to expedite opportunities of growing that success level. Give it up to Preston Simon. I'm going to have to say about this man. Thank you. Thank you. Double clap for the code. Double clap for the code. Now, you know, you know.